Beers to Fathom, episode 5, everybody. Welcome. I'm your host, Mr. Dodge, or just Dodge. This is Woodbury Getaway, December 8th. Let's get started. Needed to get a coffee to get done with the day. We're in a pretty sick little office building. Pretty sweet. Got our little light here. Nice. On, off. After that's off, that's just me in the darkness. Can I actually, uh... I can't type on this, can I? Oh, I can. <gasps> here. Subscribe to Mr. Dodge X, everyone. Don't forget. But just call me Dodge. Alright, um, let's grab that coffee, shall we? And we shall get on with our evening. Hello? Hello? No one's here? Okay, cool. Sick. This is a nice office. Look at this. We got a view of the whole uh, city. Pretty dope. There's all sorts of nightlife activities happening out there. I think I see people too. Pretty cool. Our office buildings. Not gonna lie, it's kind of creepy. There's like no lighting. Very dark, very dim, very miserable. I mean, office buildings aren't the most uh, beautiful things at the best of times, but well, having all the lights off is even more terrifying. You could do a whole horror game in here. Here we go, here's our coffee. Needed to prepare a cup of coffee. Okay, what do I grab? A, cough, a cup, fucking, oh, okay, hold on. What do I do? It needed water, all right. Oh, wait, here we go, fill this up. Ooh, nice. Chuck that in. Okay, cool. Got our thing there. Needed a coffee pod. Grab one of these, chuck her in, and boom. That's nice. Now that is a good office coffee. You just know it's going to taste like it's 50 cents worth of caffeine. Anything in here? A fucking pizza? Chuck her in. No way, I want to cook it. Who he oh, they're reheating a pizza, I guess. I was going to say, who, who cooks a pizza in a microwave? I needed to put it on a lid. Lid. Uh, lid. No, no, no. That's fucking nut. Chuck that down there. Lids, lids, lids. Oh, I'm blind. Okay, chuck that there. Sick. Let's have some of this coffee. Hmm. What's that noise? I think someone's over here typing. Hello? Needed to use the restroom. Hold on. Hello, what do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. Sorry to bother you, dude. Fucking here, have a hot coffee on your face. Rick? Anyone else around? Is this distracting? Steve? Huh? Just sitting here sipping my coffee? Distracting you? Dickhead. There's nothing else around here. Alright, let's just hide from Steve and then we'll give him one of these. Ooh! <laughs> He's probably like, fucking sit up to his old antics. Yeah, enjoy that. Fuck with. Alright, to the restroom we go. And uh, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I've needed to take a shit for like half an hour here. Let's go. No, can't use the men's. Exit. Maybe the women's. There we go. I guess we are a female. There we go. We've discovered that. Might just wash my hands for the sake of it. You know, I need to go pee, but I'll wash my hands first. Just for uh, tidy purposes. Here we go. What's this doing here? Fuck that off. I'm going to take a piss. Ah. Hmm. Thought that was a... Uh, a loudness meter that I was making, but it's just a, a toilet meter. The old toilet. Someone's in here. A man? Okay. Bit weird. Space to get up. Very strange. Let's put that down. Give her a flush, and we're good. Oh, fuck! Oh, my God. It's Donnie Trump in a janitor outfit. Whoa, ma'am. Sorry I didn't know anyone is in here. <laughs> you almost gave me a fucking heart attack. I'm so sorry, I should have knocked before I came in. There isn't usually anyone in the office this late. No, it's fine, you're just doing your job. Yeah, you should have knocked. Again, sorry, I usually do knock. I'm a bit frustrated tonight. Okay, weirdo, what has you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor <laughs> all over the office, and it's been happening for weeks. Uh, yeah, that's me, dude. Someone raised you in a barn? There's trash cans all over the office. Act like an adult and use them. Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up your coffee cups. Have a good night, you fucking strange man. You can stay in here. Fuck you. Stay in there. Creepy fucker. What's this? Bubblers. Nice. Does, anyone, does, does the world call these bubblers? Like, or maybe like water fountains? Maybe? I don't know. We call them bubblers here. I don't know why. There's no bubbles coming out, but it's a bubbler it is. Yo, bubbler. Bubbler. Let's grab some chips. Head back to my work desk. Get the shift done. <gasps> My phone is ringing. It's a pretty cool little office, to be honest. There's a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of neat stuff here. Chuck those down. Wait, what? <laughs> that sounded funny. Hello? 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 
Go for Sydney Harbor. Who's this? Hey, Arp, it's Mike. Hey, Mikey, I've how you doing? Been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Goes to Is voicemail. All right? Well, bud, I've been fucking working hard. How about oh, you just snap. deal with it? I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, oh, dear God. Is this just like our husband or something? No, it I'm even cut kidding. out on a client <laughs> earlier. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Just more yeah, overtime, bud. That's good thing I called to cheer you up. No, this is the awkward best friend, you can tell. Or the awkward awkward friend. Maybe not best friend. But he's like, hey, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm your best friend. We're so um, cool. Please uh, kiss me. Did you get a chance to book the rental house? Did no, I didn't. Do I'll do it after work, Mike. Fuck's sake. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey. Yeah, I'll book it tonight, okay? Like, I'm at work. You're not. Why don't you book it, you fuckwit? I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Hey, that sounds fucking awful. I, no, I love it. Again. Yeah, let me get back to work, buddy. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. One more thing. Has anyone seen Smiling Friends? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Mike, <laughs> you are not, you're not selling this at all. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. <clears throat> Things haven't been going very well for her. No, I'm just hanging up. Fuck off, Mike. I bet you it's his his whole idea. I bet you she can afford it just fine. He's like all being all stingy, tight with his money. He's like, nah, nah, it has to be this, has to be this. Are we done with our uh, our stuff? What do we got here? We got a fucking type invader. Oh my god, is this a typing game? Any process. We can kill the aliens by typing. This is awesome. Oh, oh no, fish. Safe glass. Village. Oh my god, this is awesome. Guys, this is worth the $15 already. I think it's about $15. Uh, fresh held. Truck line. Agree. Point. <laughs> I don't play RuneScape anymore. My typing is awful. Alright, that's my work done for the day. Brilliant. What have we got in the browser? Search. Um, rentalsabin.com. Rental cabin, not rental a bin. We don't need to rent any bins today. And we're going to... Woodbury, Woodbury, not Woodbury Getaway. Yes, yes, something like that. What do we got here? Peaceful cabin area, three hundred and fifty dollars a night. That's too much. Two forty nine, one ninety nine. I kind of hate this. I kind of hate it. Also, can I just say, spending fifty dollars less gets you AC. How is this garbage fifty dollars more than this? Like, what is that? Here we go, $99 a night, $199, okay, so we gotta go with this one. There's no air conditioning, that's kind of trash, not gonna lie, but we're gonna book it because that's all Mike wanted, because he's an asshole, and that's what he is like. Okay, let's book it. Two reviews, 3.1 stars, not great. Can I read the reviews? Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands of stories sent daily, daily? Like, it's a popular game, get me, like, don't get me wrong, but fucking thousands a day, settle down. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life, was, life at the firm was constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone social life. The job paid well, sure, but the expense of my mental peace. Consultants get paid a lot. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. All right, sick. We're going to go on a bit of a trip. Going to have a bit of fun with our friends. The plan was simple. We kill the Batman. Close off our shift early on a Friday, and he'd be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Mikey, the awkward best friend. The man in love with us who acted weird all the time. Mm. Oh my god, what a sight to behold. Hello. Afternoon, quite chilly today, hey? Give him a nod. I've seen you around quite a bit, but haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. Uh, I'm Sydney, it's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on 8th. How do you know this? Look at this fucking weird fuck. That's right, how do you know? I've just seen you a few times. Getting off at the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. What do you do for work? Me, I'm a software engineer. How about you? I'm a consulting... I'm at a consulting firm, buddy. Anyways, 
Hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. Ooh, it's gonna snow. Okay, explains the lack of aircon. You too, buddy. Play your little, play your little game thing, and you have fun. Oh, did I just hang out? Whoops. Pulling into the garage now. You down? Well, it was nice chatting with you. See you around then. See ya. I think I forgot my suitcase. Hello, hello. There it was. Okay, here he is, the man himself. Let's come to pick us up. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh shit. Oh, pick that up. Put it in the car for me. I'll meet you in there. Harp, hug. Ah, hug. That's still how you hug people. Why don't you hug me like you missed me? <laughs> why, why don't you hug me like you missed me? Um. Just I'm just giving the awkward silence. You look good. Thanks for picking me up, Mike. You're a bit of a fucking stranger, but a bit of a weirdo. We never it any other way. I'll be. It'll be nice to have company on the way. All right, sounds good. You can just throw your stuff in the back, and we'll get on our way. Sounds good, champ. You freak me out. You make me uncomfortable, Mike. All right, that's in. Yep. Let's hit the road. Let's do this. There was an option to. Oh, let's leave that down. Maybe we can lose some luggage on the way. That'll be fun. I think I was meant to like pull the, the thing down and then put the luggage in instead of just tossing it in, but whatever. It's 4.26 p.m. Ooh. Some cozy night driving vibes. It was starting to snow. Yeah, nice. Like a little bit of gentle snow on the windshield. That's a nice vibe. What do you want? Stop ruining my vibes here. Harp, isn't it weird we used to dream about escaping our college and now we are here? And now here we are? Trying to escape from the life we've wanted to live? Funny how that works, bud. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's yours going? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. I'm pretty sure he's like the junior janitor at my work. Sounds like you've been shaping the future, buddy. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood what consultants even do. Um, we consult. That sounds like important work. Yeah, yeah, well, how about fuck you? Beautiful night, beautiful night. Oh my god, he just keeps talking. Harp, do you ever miss college? Do you ever miss college? I don't. Not really, buddy. Right, I guess the only good thing that came out of the college was... Us. Us. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, you and me and Nora. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Oh, okay. Let's just exit that conversation. School bus. Not sure what the uh, importance was there. Did you see that? See what? A school bus back there by the old house. Maybe it's a project, you know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels. Yeah, the old, uh, you know, housing is expensive, so people gotta do what they gotta do. What's this thing? It was actually a gift from my coworker Ricky. He said he found it at a garage sale, reminded me of him somehow. Reminded me of him. I can see a little bit of resemblance. Yeah, it does look like Mike. It's a cowboy spirit, I guess. Oh, shit. Can you please watch the road? That was close. You know, I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Are you going to explain what that message is, or are you just going to leave it there, buddy? Okay. He's a very strange man, old Michael. Yeah, look, I don't know if it's a good idea to get in a car with this guy, but it is what it is. Are we even close? Should be about an hour and a half from here, you know. Driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Did you fucking take some pills off the floor or something, dude? It's kind of beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna look out this window because this guy's fucking creeping me out, to be honest. He's a bit of a strange fellow. And here we are. Is this Woodbury? Yo, Harp, check that out. What is it? <gasps> Pizza! Moe's Pizza be uh to be certain and there's all people inside we've just like launched the headlights right at them all i'm sure they love that you know hope i gotta tell you these new gps systems are something else this pizzeria this pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my gps that's fucking terrific michael it's like living in the future i'm so hungry i could think i eat a whole pizza myself all right then operation pizza pit stop is a girl <laughs> hold on all right then harp Operation Pizza Piss Stop is a go. Prepare to land. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! Michael is such fucking- he's so wacky. This has to be the most white bread person ever. 
You're so wacky, Michael. Come on, get us in there. Come on, you stallion. All right, can I get in? Oh, come on in, Hart. Thank you. Oh, you let me in. Wow. Hey, guys. Hey, what's going on? Hey, hey, lovely pizza. Hey, fuck with. How you going? Oh, Jesus. What a head. Oh, hello. Nah, nothing from you. Do you have any recommendation? What's good? Get the cheese. Just the cheese. Okay, can do. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat. Uh, we'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and veggie. Me? I'll just take cheese. Second slice with cheese. And we'll go with the third. We'll go with cheese. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us just the pizza today. Thanks. All right, then six hot slices coming right up. Thanks, Mike. That'll be $22.50. Well, I'm not paying. Oh, snap. I left my wallet in the car. Do you have cash, Harper? Seriously, Michael? Like... You fucking, you brought me in here, you you left, you, you can just go outside real quick and grab it, I'll wait here. Does that sound good? Okay, we have to pay. I can't tell if Mike is into us or not. I think he prefers to save his money instead of actually trying to date this character. Your order number is 27, just grab a seat, we'll call you when it's ready. Alright, you go sit down, dickhead. I have stuff to do. Where's your wallet? I'm gonna go grab it. Don't worry, Mike. Hey, hey, I'm just gonna grab your wallet, okay? Don't worry about it. Where's his fucking wallet? Where did he leave it? I can't even- I can't even get it. Son of a bitch. He's locked the car. I don't trust this son of a bitch. Hold on. Look at that man. He cannot be trusted. Oh! <gasps> Look, he's looking. He's like staring at us. Son of a bitch. Guess I gotta sit down with him. Be tortured for the rest of my evening. <laughs> nice place, huh? Long sniff. It smells so good in here. Oh. Oh, God. It smells like ass. Well, we got a message, do we? Um, I've got a message from Nora. Let's have a look. Oh, oh I'm gonna bust. Hate me. I swear I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not gonna bore you with all of the details. I hate that voice. God, it's awful. Um, I'm so sorry, guys. Nora, be careful. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Hope stays up to let you in. Thanks, Mike. Fucking real champion you are. Creep. Um, what else we got going on here? We just gotta wait. We just talk to this dickhead. Did you see Nora's voice message? I did, actually, because I have also got a phone. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. It's a bit fucking weird, dude. Okay, way to make the... Way to make me uncomfortable. Order number 27. You folks are right here. Okay, let's get up and grab it. Oh, you could pick mine up. I'm um, like, cheers. I'll just wait here. Oh, can't sit down. Oh, all right. Can I have some? Is it? Do I get to have some pizza, or are you just gonna eat it all? You just grabbed yours, did you? Okay. Cheers. Um. Hey. No. That's all right. I picked mine up. Don't worry about it. No. No. It's all good. No. Actually. No. It's fine. I have two arms and legs, so I can get it. Oh. Jesus. All right. You folks are all set. Cheers. Um. Excuse me, little gremlin man. Just don't like walk me through me like that. Hey. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Ah. Oh. oh Jesus. I just want to get to my fucking table and eat. I don't make it easy. You're a disgusting human, Mike. Alright, I'm going to eat, like, half a slice. No, actually, I paid for this, so I'm going to eat it all. Oh, damn, this pizza slaps. Can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb-ass pizza. I'm just going to ignore him for the rest of the trip. He's being such a dickhead. Honestly. Smash this down, smash this down. Hmm. Damn, Harp, did you actually eat the crust? Is it not normal to eat the crust? I think it's pretty normal. It's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? I guess, but you really wouldn't eat the peel off an orange, would you? Michael, <clears throat> you're comparing a pizza to an orange. Do you understand what's wrong here? So you wouldn't... Like, the crust isn't any different from the rest of the pizza. It's made out of the same type of thing. I guess so is an orange, but it's, it's, it's a whole different sort of system here. You're fucked. Let's finish this pizza and get moving. I'm sick of this guy. I love the voice. I love, like, I think I've said it in my last playthrough. Hello there, my friends. I saw you pull up driving that nice old truck. That's right. Not to be bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. It seems like we might have to be going the same direction. You mind if I hitch a ride with you? Well, where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass all the time with? You wouldn't even know I was there quite as a church mouse and twice as nice. So what do you say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down the snowy road? How about... No. No, you kidding me? Have you seen the snow out there? You want me walking down the road in the freezing weather? Look, I said no. 
You ain't too kind, are you? Yeah, we'll fucking get a fucking car, dickhead. He walks, he comes here, he's, it's snowing. I'm a free spirit, like, fucking dickhead. Well, that was weird. He didn't even order anything. I feel bad for the guy, though. After all these years, you're still that same old harp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro. We're so, we're, you're my best friend. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> I think I got interrupted back there. The pizza sound effects are just spot on when you're eating. Second to none. Right mouse button to burp. Oh. Oh, yeah, let that out. Bet Mike loves it secretly. Yeah, he's enjoying that. All right, let's get out of here. Mike, you're taking too long. Fucking put your shit in the bin. Oh, the gremlin's back. God. Um, holy, that was good. <laughs> this guy's just like... Bleh. Let me past. He's not having it. He's not having it. Holy, that was good. All right, then. You ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Um, are we close? Let's see. My GPS is right. Should be another hour. Give me the keys. Pup, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way? I'm going to drive so you can get a break. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. What do you mean? You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms. When or if we get there. Whatever. Give me the keys, buddy. It's like a fucking six-year-old in a grown man's body. You really are a fucking sack of shit. All right. Let's have a look around real quick. The Dairy Mart. We've got the BP across the road, church, it's all happening. Is that the hitchhiker dude? Looks like him. Come on, let's go. Oh, fucking hell, all right. Sorry, son. Let me just grab my shit. Do you want any lollies? Hanky, new underwear for the trip, buddy? Your heart's on this chilly night. All right. As we embrace oh, look, the shit, there's a cops. Ah! <laughs> there's nothing like a I told you the driving in the snow is no joke. Right oh, we didn't get arrested, so I was out of practice with driving. Don't worry, Mike. It was a prank. Relax, dickhead. You need to, you need to fucking relax more, man. Bloody hell. You act like I've never driven a car. Oh, oh. It's all good. In my county, I was the district champion in the Opens driving competition over 35s. Don't stress. Whoa. Easy there, Charles. Yeah. I'll be driving out the snowy fields, making all the shit go glowy teal deals. I don't know what I'm doing here with Mikey. But he is a motherfucking bikey. Bitch crazy, yeah. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Pop, did you get the license from a cereal box? You're hilarious, Michael. I should just let Mike drive. Woodbury is this way. Oh. Yeah. Mike is. Mike. Yeah. Mikey. He's a legend. One of the best. I can't rap like the rest. Yeah. Subscribe to Mr. Dodge X, or I'm gonna have to pull out and start flexing. Uh. <laughs> All right, music off. Music off. Uh, let's just enjoy the rest of the trip, hey Mike? I get, a I bust into a rhyme when I get a little excited for our trip. Oh, 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 oh! If you, if you felt a bump, it was just me because I ran over a small child in the snow. But otherwise, all is good. I don't know where I'm going. Do you? Do you remember the address? I think the address was 241. And well, um, I mean, I hope you're directing me, because fucking I can't see the numbers on the houses, on their mailboxes, or whatever the system is here. I'm just gonna drive until something happens. It also, like, in the photos we saw of the house, it was not snowing, so I don't really have an idea of what it should look like. But, hey. It, it is what it is, okay? It is what it is. I thought you were just gonna keep driving there. So we're here, are we? How do I turn off the car? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Are we getting out of what? Yes. Oh, here we go. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, here's the house. Brilliant. That was lucky. Hello. It was a quaint little house with a quiet neighborhood. Should probably grab my bag, eh? Did he just go in? He just fucked off. Door was locked. Wait, what? Am I losing my mind? I could have sworn he just walked in and closed the door behind me. Yeah, he's not here. What's happened? Who's in the back? What the fuck? Mike, <laughs> what's happened? Michael! He's, he's, he's glitched through. What have I done? Mike, here, let me move the car. Mike was picking up with the mini cooler. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I might have broken the game here. All right, he can just chill out there. <laughs> Shit. Uh, what do we got here? Slide. Slide to open. Um, okay, left mouse button interact. Cool. I remembered Rick had sent me the lockbox code. Oh, okay. So this is Rick5176. Let's go. 
five, one, seven, and six. Beautiful. We got the house keys. So I can get in now, right? Perfect. Hey, uh, Mike, you just hang out there in the backyard. Um, I forgot the bag outside at first. Uh, where did I put the bag? Oh, here. Brilliant. All right, let's close that behind us. I don't know if I can lock it, but that's okay. And here we are. Beautiful little cabin. Nice. What do we got in here? Juice. Oh, fucking, what the fuck? What's he doing? Man's lost the plot. Oh, he's just spawned in stuff. Okay. Hey, bud. Everything good? What a great place. I knew you could count on you. It smells so nice in here, right? But I really need to hit the john. That's really great. Just say you're going to the bathroom, dude. Take your time. Sure, while I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. Sure, you lazy human. Asshole. Alright, so this is it, is it? I swear he doesn't do anything for himself. Like, it's actually insane. Chuck that there. Whoop. Chuck that there. There we go. Perfect. Stock up the fridge, eh? Nice. Oh, no. Gotta put him in there like that. Okay, boom. Speed run style. Let's go. Chuck that there. Chuck that there. Is that done? I had to close the fridge, and we were done. Sounds like he's done too. <clears throat> and I can sit down at this table. Hmm. Phew. Sorry about that, Harp. Are you okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Hang on. I really have to pee. You go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Dude, there's only one bag, and it's mine. I don't even know what you brought. Stop take. He's gonna go through my fucking... My undergarments. Sick fuck. The smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on Mike. Lovely. She's pissing. Escape to text Rick. Uh, text Rick. Hi, we've checked in. And Nora sent an XD. And a love heart. Lovely. All right, we're back. Oh, Jesus. Hello. You going in there to sniff it, are you? Feeling better after the drive. Much better now. Want to check out the house? That sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. Okay, I'll, uh... Look in here, a little fireplace. That's kind of cool, cozy. Very nice. Some crosswords. This living room is bigger than my apartment. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're very funny. Yep. Fucking weird cunt. Um, okay, what else we got? A little office space. Cool. Any creepy neighbors? No. Excuse me, Michael. I just need to... Uh, can you not block the door? I'm just going to squeeze past you. <laughs> oh, awkwardly close. <laughs> Uh, let's go upstairs. There's not much downstairs. Like, there's a lot of space, but not a lot happening. Wait, was there someone there? No. There is a little shed out the back, though, so that's kind of cool. What else is in here? A little storage room. Nothing too crazy. Don't even think about blocking me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, you're here. Who the fuck are you, cunt? Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. We're just friends, buddy. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier and remember the TV who's been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try and get it working again since my last few folks had a bad word about it. You know, they say, treat your guests like your family. My family doesn't go without TV. I'm in a very uncomfortable situation right now. Speaking of that, now that you folks are home, let me show you around my home sweet home. Like, right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. You're a fucking psycho. Dickhead. Host was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Jesus Christ, settle down, Mike. Oh, is this the fucking torture toilet? Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing in a, under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, and this sink doesn't work. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom in now. Yeah, I suppose the sink doesn't matter too much. Fucking hell, it's a tight fit. How's that legal? Uh, here's the other room. Look up, this room has a nice ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. No, I wanna have a look at this view. Oh, what a view. Wow, awesome view. Are you coming, miss? Fucking wait, dickhead. Yeah, okay, the view's pretty shit, but I guess Michael is easily impressed. I should've, I should be aware of it, but whatever. Out here. Uh, beat you to it, Mike, beat you to it. Oh, this is the view, is it? Wow. Whoa, I can see. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. All right, folks, let's head back inside before I catch the cold here again. I can't see a creek. Can someone, like, can you guys see it? Uh, hold on. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot see a creek. I see the neighbor's house. 
They, they're not seeing the same view I'm seeing, clearly. Michael's having a fucking seizure looking at the roof here. Can I fix this TV? Yeah, there we go. Fixed. See ya. Going home. Fucking done with this place. You're all weird. Taking the fucking truck and I'm out of here. What are you looking at? Yeah, dogs. Alright, let's go get the old fella back from the fucking closet. Hello. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. Alright, folks, let's head downstairs. He does have this determined sort of look about him, doesn't he? Just very happy but determined. And sort of simple. Simple fellow. I like him. I like him. He means well. Alrighty, folks, I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. Yeah, like, I don't know how you couldn't hear us in the house when you were fixing the TV, but sure. You see the knob? Rub it. I mean, uh, turn the knob up for more cooling and down for cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter, and the bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Okay. It's going to be out the backyard, right? No, it's in this little closet. Okay. Michael, move. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, okay, it gets worse. We have a creepy-ass dungeon down here. Lovely. Can I turn this off and on? Spooky, guys, spooky. Alright, what's here? Mm, nothing to worry about down here. It's just a water heater and did some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, hit the button at the bottom. And the pilot light will fire right back up and you'll be back in business. Wow. What a tour. Should I be worried about what's down here? Are you coming, miss? Stop asking me. Leave me alone. Creepy fucker. Alright, it looks all fairly normal. That's his manifesto. Um, Hey, sir, what's the deal with the room over there? Nothing you two need to not concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. No access to guests. I couldn't open the door. Me in! Alright, let's go. Let's go. Why are you looking at me like that? Did I mention... Well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fellow I brought this house from, well, he told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night, so they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I was one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. <laughs> He's trying to give me a kiss. The looks on your face is... I'm just joking, eh? Yeah, okay, dickhead. I reckon there's someone tied up in that room. At this point, my creep meter was... Quietly pinging around a 6 out of 10. Only a 6. That's pretty fucking low. I'm on like an 8 myself. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road. Gotta find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around, buddy. By the way, what's the name on the booking? It must be getting old. I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ha, huh, Sydney. That's right. This fucking guy, dude. This guy does not. This isn't the guy. This is someone else. We just told a random guy our name. Pretty name for a pretty girl. He doesn't... Is it weird? Yeah, is it me or is this guy weird? He's very weird. Anyways, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Chuckle, let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Where do you go? Where do you go? I don't fucking trust this guy, dude. Like, he's fucked. Well, I'm glad... Where's he going? Where is he going? I do not trust this fucking guy, dude. He's going down the Bear Creek Trail. Can I follow him? The music's getting pretty fucking sus. You reckon he knows I'm here? Please stay on the trail, sensitive area. I probably, I probably shouldn't be going down here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This guy is, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna get the fucking shit scared out of me. I love how loud that TV is though. You reckon I can catch up to him? Let's catch up to him. Excuse me. Hey, cunty. What's going on? Hey, it's me. I'm just going to follow you. I'm just going to follow you around. I, I want to know what you're doing. It blocked me off. Bitch. All right. Now i got to run all the way back as slow as I can. Absolutely hate that. So I think that guy was hiding in, um, in the house. I reckon he probably mucked around with the TV himself. And I don't know. Like, it's just really sus. Really fucking sus. Probably put some fucking hidden cameras in here or something. Weird guy, weird guy. Also, with all this space, who puts the shower and bathroom in this horrible tiny area? Oh. 
That's loud. All right, the shower door was open. Well, let's close it. How about that? Simple task, hard to do. Another beautiful shower finished. My, sh my towel. Okay. Um, I guess we are. Uh, we need to get our clothes. Tap didn't work. Or do I have my clothes on? I don't know. Did I? Did he put my clothes out? I think Mike said he wanted this room. I could be wrong. No clothes for me. I don't know. Let's just walk downstairs. Bug it. Any weird things going on out here? Not really. No. Nothing too strange happening. We can use this. F to throw. G to chuck that there. Let's put it back on its little shelf, eh? I don't want to mess up the little getaway lodge too much. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, what are you doing? Huh? Check this out. I found a fishing rod in the shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you've mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Uh, I don't know, it's pretty cold out there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hell yeah, follow me. There's a rod in the shed. We can both give it a shot. It's night time and it's snowing, you psycho. But let's do it. Why not? Clearly this man does not feel cold. He's just got a jeans and a jumper on and he's just, he's all for it. Strange, strange man. Although I did want to check out the shed, which is why I kind of agreed with the, uh, the, the thing. Do you want to grab the other fishing rod harp? Um, yeah, just give me a sec. This is super weird. Bait and fish pairing knowledge. Frozen prawns, some crank bait, sweet corn, cheese delight, and maggot bait. Um, I'm gonna go with the maggot bait. That sounds pretty fucking awesome sauce. How do I escape out of that? There we go. Uh, whoa, fucking hell. Easy, buddy. Where's this other fishing rod? Have I lost the plot? Fishing rod, fishing rod. Oh, there. Alright, we need to get some bait. Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp. Though, for... Oh, fuck me, I'm having a seizure. Though, are you up for the challenge? Well, first things first, we need the right bait for the carp. Please don't make rhymes with my name, you fucking creep. Alright, carp. Where is the carp? Common carp? We need sweet corn? Or we could do cheese delight. Cheese delight's probably the best. Cheese delight or sweet corn. Okay, let's go. Uh, the cheese. Here we are. And... The fuck? Alright, let's go. Right mouse button to put it on the hook. Let's go. A romantic fishing adventure with my friend, Michael. He even set up- Oh, this is a creek. Okay. Neat. I'll sit here and I'll start fishing. I hope those carp are biting today. Does he know it's night time? It's like 7pm at night or something? Like, has he lost his mind? It was too far to cast to. How am I sitting backwards? What's happened to me? Jesus. Let me stand up and sit down properly. What, what is going on with my- I don't even know. Don't forget, we need three carp. Okay. What do I do? Throw it? Oh, no, not the bait. I've tossed it in the fucking river. Let's grab it. All right, put it on the hook. Right mouse button. It was too close to the ground. Okay, we can't sit. So, I'm just going to have to do this. Fun fishing adventure, everyone. Wahoo! Mm. Oh, we got something. Oh, oh my god. We're going to move the slider. A and D. Oh, fuck it. Don't worry, Harp. The fish are just playing hard to get. Shut the fuck up, Michael. We'll have to just speed run this. Hey, there's a guy over there. Hello. Okay, I'm better at this now. Sweet, that's two. Oh no, that's... Throw that back. I don't want that. I want three carp. Ready? Ready? Set? Let's go. Let's go. This is the last one. This has to be it. Let's go. Let's go. Keep that shit. Alright. Do you want to head back and throw these in? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I'm fucking over this shit. Holy fuck. I was done with this like 10 minutes ago, dude. Alright, thank god for that. See you, Mike. What's with the creepy music? Very, very ominous music. Did we leave that door open? We must have. Come on, Michael. Hurry up. wonder if Michael will get killed. He left the fucking fridge open too, this other guy. Jesus Christ. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? I'm not sure how to do it. Just take a bowl and throw some ginger paste, cooking oil, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. Fuck's sake. Is there anything this man can do by himself? Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I, I've... <laughs> I've, I've speedrun my way through the game. Help, I'm stuck on the roof. Wait, I do that and then... No, nah, okay, it's not going to work. It's not going to work twice for me, is it? Of course, of course. What am I meant to be doing? Marinade. All right, chief. Um, what do you want me to do? Let's take a bowl, throw some ginger paste, cooking salt. All right, well, here's a bowl. Oh, this is cool. Little uh, menu. Salt. Where's the salt at? Now I have to find all these things. There we go. There's one item done. Bit of uh, ginger, bit of pepper, bit of salt. 
What else do we need? Paprika and Italian seasoning. Done. Um, hmm. Oh, here's something else. Italian seasoning and yogurt, which will be in the fridge. Probably off at this point, but, you know. Beautiful. Marinade done. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. How did you spawn more groceries? We didn't have that many when we got here. Do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade and the casserole in the casserole while I chop these veggies? Sure. Like, I'll just do everything. Does that sound good? Shit. Oh, shit, no, not the marinade. Um, what do I do? Two carps, marinade, veggies. Where's the carps? Need to throw in both fishes. Where did we put the fishes? In the freezer? No, those are eggs. Um, freezer. That is the ice zone. Is this free? No, that's not that. Fuck. Wait, what's in here? That's bell peppers. Flippin' heck. Where did we put the fish? Where's the bucket? Didn't he bring a bucket in? Here we go. There's nothing in there. Where the fuck am I meant to find these? Oh, here. Fish, fish, marinade, and vegetables. Let's go. Now could you add the veggies? I read it needs to go in for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. All right, oh, chuck that in. Fucking beep. You're useless. You're useless. You're failing. You're failing at wooing me over, you creep. Look at this head. A carp is going to be tasting amazing. While we look for it, while we wait for it, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the other room. I guess so. This guy is six years old. Like I said earlier. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the next room, in the living room. Look. Like, oh, I feel like he's like grabbing us tightly and he's like, this is going to be so fucking exciting. Get away from me. I'm not seeing much. Oh, here we go. Um, let's play with the Ouija board. That seems like a fun thing to do, right? Michael, I've got your favorite game. Did he leave the back door open? Shut it, dude. Oh, snap. Is that a Ouija board? Molly once told me she contacted her grandma through one of these. Her dead grandma. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? One of your greatest ideas yet. All right, let's go. Let me shut the door first because you're too lazy to do it. How did you walk through there like that? Can I do that? I can. See, like, this is what I'm talking about, like, with game design. Like, like no one in their right mind would, would put this door like this. Watch out for the spiders down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold, hold your horses, buddy. Like, I feel like they should have just put the table a little bit more in the middle here. And wouldn't feel so claustrophobic about going down here. It's a, it's a bit strange. Let's check this door. I couldn't open the door still. What do you got? Fucking table? Look at this. What's in there? Mm, okay, a bit creepy. You got, you got a little bench and you're sitting on the floor. You are useless. You know what will make this even spookier? Turning the lights off. Let's turn off all these lights and see if it works. Well, you hold that. I'll turn off the fucking lights, eh? How about that? Turn that off. I'm going to shut the basement door. I'm going to let no light in. Um, is that all the lights off? I thought they were all different sets of lights. Sure, let's do it. Fuck yeah, homies. Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? Uh, no. No, I do not. Dot, dot, dot. So here's how it works. First, we place our fingers into each other's bottoms. I mean, layers on the planchette. We have to ask questions, and the spirits, if there are any, will move the planchette to spell out the answers. Or at least, that's what Molly told me. You're a fucking weird dude. One more thing, Harp. Never take your fingers off the planchette until we say goodbye. Otherwise, we might tick off some spirits, she said. Radio. All right, then. You go first. He just wants to use this as an excuse to touch me. Okay. Um, I'll go first. Do Can you see us? Are there any spirits that want to talk to us? I'm controlling this. All right. I'm going to go yes. I don't know what's going on. Yes. <gasps> No way, are you moving it? That wasn't me. <laughs> okay, I got one too. Uh, I've got one too. Okay, go ahead. Uh, what's your question, buddy? How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? I don't really understand this. We're just, we're just like flinging this around a few times. N, you, I don't know. Do you live in this house? Yes, no, yes. W, I don't know what's going on. My turn, okay. Maybe I'll try and read the uh, the things. Come on, buddy. Give us your sign. Let us know you're here. J. Oh, he's fucking run off. So, um, 
let's let's get up and check on Mike because I think he's taken off and I think he's left us here to die, which is kind of hilarious. I couldn't open that door. Let's go take a look. Maybe this is like a trick by him. Oh, fuck. Has he got a head? Oh, he does. Thank God. Are you okay, pal? What's going on? There's some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. <laughs> okay, take it. This was his idea, by the way. I mean, I got the Ouija board out, but he wanted to do it down there. And that was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. Yeah, let's talk about how he ditched me. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass too. It would have been nice if you had checked. Have I... Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? Whatever. Pathetic human. Absolutely pathetic. Oh no, don't worry, I'll get it out of the oven. You might burn your little hands, princess. Oh well, now who's grown some balls? Alright. I had to grab a plate. I think our show is about to come on. Why why, why let's just leave him. Fuck him off. Let's do it, sure. You asshole. Thanks for making me a plate. You know, after I helped you and everything. Hmm. Alright, fuck it. Let's go. This guy's so fucking weird. I'm sitting over here. Oh, I have to sit next to you, do I? Fucking hell, okay. You're weird. Eat my food. We couldn't... Well, oh, I have to put the TV on as well. Holy shit. The mayonnaise so nice. flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. That's so loud. So first, we are going to prepare the asparagus. All right, let's Season eat. Season these with a lot of salt. Salt is good for the bones. Good for the bones. There's a lot of weird shows on TV in this game. We can start making the chocolate. Ah, uh, yes. The cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce. You like this shit, huh? You're weird. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. We I was done with it. This. Can I turn this garbage off now? Harp, that was some damn fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. Yeah, it was okay. You didn't have to rain on my parade, Harp. It was no most pizza, but I thought it turned out well. Hey, anyways, I need to check my emails real quick. That's my laptop upstairs. I thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll clean up here. How does this guy get away? Fucking hell, that's awful to listen to. Fucking clean your own dishes. I'm sick of it. All right. Fine. I'll do the dishes. I'll do it all. Let's grab the other one and let's get done with it. This is not a very relaxing getaway. So what do I do? Like, had to do both of our plates. I understand your predicament. I don't I don't know what I just did. It just it just worked. It just worked. I don't know. Dishwashing simulator. Awesome. Okay. That's a good start. Now can we go to bed? I sure hope so. Oh, we got a text from Michael. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? I bet you he's sitting on the bed with his fucking knob out. Sick fuck. Walk slow, don't make sounds. Righto. He's just waiting in there to scare us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking saw that coming. Gotcha! What the hell, Mike? You're lucky I don't break your nose. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. That was fun. Whatever. Come on, it was just a joke. You want to go for the next round? What do you mean next round? How about a game of hide and seek? I'll get back to you on that, buddy. Wh what? He's just going to do it. He's going to count to ten, is he? Alright, see you, dickhead. I'm going to hide somewhere. You'll never find me. I'm going to hide in the basement. You know, that area that we fucking shit ourselves in. Down in the basement. I'm gonna hide under the stairs. I like it down here. Gotta be quiet though. Catchy. I've gotta keep it quiet. I'm gonna sneak in. He doesn't know I'm here. Fucking useless piece of shit. Come on, pal. I know you're in there. This is crazy. This is fucking nuts. <gasps> oh, bitch! <laughs> wasn't even a challenging. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. All right, my turn to hide. You better close your eyes and start counting. I fell off the map. What? What? Space to close eyes. Okay. Spawn me back in, I guess. How is that a thing? One Mississippi. Yeah, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. I'm still falling off the map. You have got to be kidding. All right, my turn to hide. You better close your eyes and start counting. Okay, just don't kick me off the map again, please. Space to close eyes. 
All right, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we are good. I am coming. Maybe he went in here. Turn those back on, and let's go. All right, sweet. Well, um, we'll just do one room at a time, eh? Why not? He's not in here. You know what would be the ultimate prank is just to start watching TV if it wasn't so bloody loud, and then just like leaving it at that. So he would be he would be mightily upset if we just left him alone. Uh, I don't suppose he could be outside, right? Like, there would be no reason for him to be out there. It's definitely not in there. Probably not in there. Not in here. In his room, maybe? In the cupboard? No. Not in the cupboard. That's surprising. Okay, well, he must be in one of these little rooms here, eh? Why not? I mean, he must have, uh, he must be doing something cheeky. He's definitely in this one here. No, he wouldn't have fit in that one. This one here. <laughs> Look at this idiot. Do you know I can see you? Uh, what a stupid head. Alright, let's go. Got ya. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. There is nothing upstairs. You're gonna try this again. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. Didn't you hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life I heard something. I see the attic as access door in here. Interesting. I couldn't reach it without the step stool. Well, like, are you gonna go and grab it or are you gonna stand there looking like an idiot? Stop shutting me in here. You fucking freak. I'm so over this cunt, I swear to god. So what, this guy's chucked me up here. For what? Oh, fucking hell, a dog or some shit. It's a fucking cat. Dick! Hey buddy, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? You're just hungry. Alright, let's find you some food, eh? Oh, this is a massive bonus. Alright, um... Let's find him some food. Is there a light switch in here? He's just been hanging out in here, like, by himself. That's so fucking sad. Alright, let's go back downstairs and talk shit to, uh, old Jonathan, whatever his name is. Hey, dumbass. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? It was just a cat. Looks like you aren't the only pussy in the house. <laughs> what do you mean by that? It was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. Like, we just talk so much shit to him and he doesn't have anything to say. You ready to count again? I think she was hungry. Hmm. You wanna... Is it- how old is this fucking guy? I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. This is fucking sad, man. Where am I going? What adult wants to play hide and seek? Like this, like, what the fuck? Really fucking weird, dude. Someone's gonna come this time, I bet. Alright, is he coming or what? This is the tool shed, right? Or am I tripping? Oh fuck, here it comes! <laughs> I thought, uh, I thought I was in the, the wrong spot. Is there any other strange people around here? Maybe doing some evil things. What is he up to? Come on, buddy. I've noticed a lot of this game so far has been padded out by just, like, very, like, menial tasks. Whatever you call these things. Boom, motherfucker! Damn it, Harp. Took me a while to figure out you left the house. Yeah, anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired, dude. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You'll find me and we'll go to bed. Alright, you fucking six-year-old idiot. Uh, let's do this again. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bother shouting here I'm coming, because... Like, come on. Like, really, buddy? So far, nothing has been uh, ominous, creepy, or whatever. Like, it's been pretty fine. So, uh, I don't know. I reckon we'll go with the basement, eh? Like, why not? I reckon he's gone in this room here. I couldn't open the door, okay. He's definitely not in the basement. Surprising. I, I mean, he is scared of it, so... Fair enough. What was that noise? I swear I just heard banging. Oh, hold on. Let's go back here. Listen. Listen. Someone's definitely banging on the basement, um, the basement doors. That's what's happening. I'm a bit slow, but yeah, that's, that's definitely what's happening. Alright, is he up here now? He must be. Hello, Mr. Cat. What's up? Is uh, old dickhead up here, or is he fucked off? Where are you heading? 
And he is not... What the fuck are you doing again, dickhead? What the fuck? Well, hey there. Why the hell are you back here? Rick, why are you back? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. You kind of do, buddy. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fix me faucets with you? Fucking, what is wrong with this guy? I think so. I'd imagine you know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Isn't this late? No trouble for me at all, miss. I'm right around the block. I told you I'd get the sinks fixed for you real soon. Do you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? Are you asking me to leave? Yes. No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I don't think we really want to have to call in law enforcement. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let Michael handle it. Let him do his thing. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. Well, why is that? You think they're going to come and arrest a homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure we just said that. Hey, one more thing. Don't call me if it starts leaking again. Good, I won't. Don't come back, you creep. Let me lock the door. Yeah, please do. This guy's fucking nuts. I love how he doesn't even knock. He just comes in at some point. What a fucking weirdo. After locking the door, we we debated what to do. We agreed that something was off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. This is where he comes in again. 11.39 p.m. What is that noise? Space to get up. Someone's knocking on the door. Very weird. Let's check the door, shall we? Can I turn the lights? No. Hello? Mike, Harper, you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure, buddy. Come on in. I'd like to know what all this noise is out here really weird the storm is starting to get really bad i can hardly see the truck in the driveway i hate that nora is out there all alone she'll be just fine sydney don't worry i'm here to keep you safe what hey it's no problem at all guys are supposed to watch over people they care about right what are you talking about what a day huh this wasn't exactly how i thought our getaway was going to go yeah, it's been a strange fucking day, dude. <laughs> that is terrifying. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. Yeah, I wish he would just cut it out. I thought you may be scared in here by yourself. I mean, I'm a little freaked out. Great, now I'm even more creeped out. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Why is he acting so fucking weird? Look, I'm more interested at in looking out on the street, mate. Just keeping eyes on things. Where's that cat? Can we bring it down? Alright, I'll sit next to you, you creep. Since I have no choice. Harp, you know... I've missed this. Us just talking, it's been too long. You know... You don't have to sleep ton alone tonight if you don't want to. <laughs> this is so... So cringe. Where is this coming from? He just, like, looks down. Dude, you are fucking weird. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it pretty well, buddy. Oh, yeah, do tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward, though. I know we had a lot to drink, and things happened. They sure did, but I'm hoping they can happen again. Oh, Mike. Um, I don't know what to say, buddy. You just tell me you worry about the details. You just let me worry about the details. I don't think that's a good... I don't think this is a good time, buddy. You're fucking weird, dude. Um, SOS. Alright, let's hear from Nora. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire just blew out. 
It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? Terrible voice acting. Um, what timing, huh? I guess we could... We can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and... Well, we can't. Let's go. Okay, yep. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing out, freezing our asses off. Um, are you sure? Yeah, okay. You go do that, Mike. I always feel like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Be careful. Oh, finally, some peace and quiet. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Go get some rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. Strange man. I'll walk you out the front door, buddy. Alright, take care. It was freezing outside. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. Yeah, I get it. So go. Just get out of here. Go. Why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? I am. Make sure you take care. Yeah, I am. You sound like my dad. Fucking hell. Before I go, how about a hug? Oh my god. Not now, Mike. Yep. Fuck off. Honestly, dude. So creepy. Ugh. He's so... Amazing. How's this fire going? It's all cranked up. Guess we should go back to bed. Wait, this is my room, isn't it? Keep the light on in there. Make sure no one hides in there, and we're good. I told myself things would get better if I just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. Did someone ring the bell? Oh, I don't like this. This is sketchy. The truck doesn't look like it's back. Someone was at the front door. Let's go take a look, shall we? Someone's here. Someone outside at night was horrific. Seems a bit sketchy. I saw you there, my friend. <gasps> Please open this door. I'm scared to death out here. It's that fucking weird hitchhiker. Nah. No way, man. Not letting that random guy in. Alright, maybe I, I'm supposed to. Oh, okay, we can just talk to him. Do you have any idea what time it is? Look, friend, I know being... Uh, uh. Good God. Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door at this time of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they're running behind. I won't be here for two more hours. Alright, um, you're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I shouldn't... <laughs> I knew it was the same guy. I should've known you'd be as big of a bitch as you were back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but it looks like you're still... unkind. So he's been... Oh, no! That's right, I did see him. He was walking across the bridge when we were fishing. So he's been hanging around for a while. So he's, he's had plenty of time to fuck off. Get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. Is he going to take off or what? Dude's unhinged as. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Calm as a bitch, my friend. Well, that wasn't a very friendly thing to do. I didn't feel safe opening the door. No, fair enough. This guy's a bit cooked as well. Can I look out the side window? Is that going to... I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. Well, let's, let's take a look. 
Where is he? He's not... <gasps> Sneaky fucker, what's he doing? He's trying to get into the basement. He's kicking on it. What a snake. Can't use those ones. Alright, let's go get some sleep, I guess. I can't question him on it. Can't, can't open the door, so... Back to bed, I guess. I mean, I would call the cops anyway, because he's a bit fucked, but... Alright, back to nap time. He opened it! He opened it! And he ran off. Something spooked him. Can we get back up? What the fuck? Is he throwing snowballs at the fucking window? At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Is it a handprint? He's doing some sketchy shit. Alright, let's text Rick. Rick, I'm sorry to bother you, but can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down here who's banging on the door. He started threatening me. I'm scared, and I think I can move him here moving outside the house. Can you come have a look since you live so close? It is pretty, uh, pretty brutal, like, blizzard out there, so... I mean, I don't blame him for wanting to get, like, cool, but... Oh, fuck, he's back. Hopefully it's just, like, Mikey. Oh, here he is. Open the door, miss. It's me. Um, let's open it. Hey, bud. What the hell's going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. He's holding a hammer. Rick, why do you still have the hammer? By the way, where's your friend, the guy who was with you earlier? Um... He should be back soon. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Fuck, this guy's creepy. Can we turn on some lights? Like, can we make it, like, a little bit safer? Like, it's really weird. Where is he heading? He's just feeling the fire. Okay, storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. I agree with you. Now, uh, now that he's taken care of, you can leave. Rick Wilson, come back over. What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Alright, time to bail. Let me out. I don't care if it's freezing. Oh, I can't go! Oh, fuck, I'm done for. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late to be texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? Uh, it's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Yes. Thanks for coming by. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's really okay. You need to leave right now. What did you just say? Let's confront him. This is my fucking house and I'll leave whenever I want to. Get out of here before I call the cops. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. What? <laughs> He's running! Come back here, you little cheeky prick. Mm. Oh, fuck! Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awfully late to be texting, isn't it? It's my friends, they're almost here. You can head back if you want. I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around and make sure everything is okay. You are not Rick, are you? What did you just say? I think every option here is going to be confronting him. This is my fucking house and I'll leave when I want to. What do you want? I want what's mine, this house and you. Oh dear god, you're trespassing. Get out of here. No, let's just say you need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. Alright. Oh, fuck this. I'm going to the basement. Can I get in here? That's locked. On the stairs, let's go. It's a idea. It's a fucking idea, guys. Ooh. He actually managed to get in. Alright, time to run. Let's go. 
Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Let's go. I'm going out the back door. Oh fuck, he's, he's fucking... Fuck. Fuck, that's broken. Alright, there was an exit out here. Let's go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no, I can't! Is it worth going in here? I don't know. <clears throat> Shit. Think we're okay? Really sure what to do. Oh, he's he's just waiting there. It's all right, Mr. Cat. Hey, buddy. It's all right. Hey, we're gonna be okay. You're all right. Just gonna talk talking to other guests on the phone. I've called nine one one. So there is police in the town. He just lied the whole time. <clears throat> Let's get downstairs. Okay, let's play it slow. Let's play it easy. Just take it easy. Oh, fucking hell. Thanks for kicking down the door, boys. Yo, we back. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops, the storm had quietened down by the time they arrived, and of course the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man was saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used, and planned on robbing us during our stay, but cops seemed to think there was more intent behind the man's actions, just aside from robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like, and after all that, didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on, but in the end, he gave us a full refund. And that's what matters most. And that's that. Um. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like there could have been more, more to it. But it was pretty good, pretty fine, you know. With how big the map was and everything, and the amount of, like, I don't know. It has so much more potential than what it is. Like, I feel like it's like, I don't know, 20%. It has like a lot more to go. Could have had like exploring the little houses nearby. I don't know, some weird stuff going on. Um, I really thought that was going to come into play. That little hutch at the front, the uh, this little thing. That didn't come into play. I thought we were going to find like a person down there or something. I don't know. But, um... Like maybe he was living in there, like Rick? I don't know. It, it was, yeah, it is what it is. I think he may have been living in there, like, in that secret area. I think that was the whole thing, but... Anyways. <clears throat> if you enjoyed that, guys, hit the like button. Consider subscribing. Share the video. Do the things. Hit the bell. Whatever else. This was all recorded live on Twitch, and it was probably very obvious. Um, but who knows? Um... I also tried a new camera, so if it's like heaps glitchy during the gameplay, I apologize. It's uh, it's like an iPhone setup thing, but it's kind of glitchy, but that's something to kink out, work out the kinks for later. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully it made you laugh, hopefully it made you freak out, jump scare once or twice. But until next time, folks, I'll see you again soon.